It is 2010. In Busan's Guanamsa Temple, a Buddha statue reveals a shocking secret that had been hidden inside it. Preserved inside the Buddha statue was ginseng, perfectly intact and more than a millennium old. How was the ginseng so perfectly preserved? People found the answer in the paper that was wrapped around the ginseng. That paper was Hanji. The world's oldest woodblock printed paper in existence. Paper that was considered as fine as silk, revered like a god. Paper that introduced Genghis Khan to the world, Hanji. But Hanji has even more to offer. In 1614 AD, 5,000 soldiers headed out onto the battlefield wearing paper armor. Why did they choose, out of all things, paper to block arrows? Hanji, with its many layers, was sturdy enough to prevent arrows from piercing through. This is due to Hanji's unique texture. The Heidong history records that the army of the Joseon dynasty wore armor made from paper. It was not myth, but fact. Hanji had actually been used to make armor. What kind of texture could make Hanji strong enough for armor? Hanji is comprised of tiny fibers that are densely crisscrossed. Uh, the man in this Hanji workshop is renowned Hanji maker Zhang Yonghun, whose time-worn skills have been acknowledged by the Korean government. The bark of a paper mulberry tree is stripped and boiled then thrown in a tray to make the fibers crisscross. The process is called muljil. This is The texture of the paper is determined by how one carries out mulchil, or swishes the water over the tray to catch the fibers. If you use up mulchil, or the front to back motion, horizontal fibers are created. And conversely, using a side to side motion will create vertical fibers. Alternating actions create the crisscrossed and perpendicular texture. Hanji's surface is made up of tightly entwined fibers, created through many repetitions of mulchi. Just how strong is Hanji? According to tests with ordinary paper, Hanji has around double the tensile strength of plain copy paper. The reason Hanji was able to be created with such a dense array of fibers was because our ancestors knew about the characteristics of the paper mulberry. 
the special technique of Mulchi used these characteristics to full advantage. Hanji is not considered superior simply because of its texture. It is superior and unique because of the science that is embedded in its creation process. We're back in the time of the Joseon dynasty. A mother is worried and anxious as her child has been hurt. They have no medication and her child's bleeding won't stop. Right at that moment, the mother comes up with an idea and uses it as a final resort. The mother gives her child something to drink. It was water mixed with burnt hanji. Why then would a mother give her child hanji when the bleeding wouldn't stop? Through generations, our ancestors used hanji to stem severe bleeding. In times of emergency, they ingested burnt hanji to stop further loss of blood. 한지의 젤을 태워서 어, 약으로 치료하게 되면은 혈분과 혈우는 피를 먹게 해주는 지혈 작용이 있다고 해서 그 한방의 지혈 소염제로 많이 쓰고 있습니다. The Dongi Bogam, considered the Joseon Dynasty's best medical book, records that one can stem excessive bleeding by drinking water mixed with the ashes of paper made from a paper mulberry tree. Then where did these healing properties of hanji come from? The answer comes from the material used to make hanji, the paper mulberry. The bark of the paper mulberry has in it a component that helps stop bleeding. Aside from preventing blood loss, the paper mulberry tree had been used as an ingredient for many medicines. Recently, a lot of attention has been placed on the paper mulberry's effectiveness in treating skin problems. In a modern and urban era, the most serious skin problem is atopic dermatitis. Dangnamu를 삶은 물은 전통적으로 나병이나 다음에 피부병 등에 사용해 왔습니다. 그런데 최근에는 그 당나무의 잎과 속대에서 그 항아토피 효과가 있다고 알려진 카지놀류 성분들이 검출이 되었습니다. In an experiment on paper mulberry extract, it was found that the mulberry extract had far superior healing properties and was more effective in treating atopic dermatitis than conventional ointment and medication. Apart from this, hanji was used for many purposes in daily life. It's the palace in the middle of winter, and fresh herbs and vegetables were a must on the king's table where the finest foods were set out. But surprisingly, summer herbs and vegetables were served during winter months. How was this possible? The hanji greenhouse made this possible by providing an environment to grow summer vegetables in winter. Hanji was used to get the effects of what we know today as a greenhouse. But how were plants able to grow in a greenhouse that was made from paper so thin? The midday sun produces heat for the greenhouse to become warm, and the greenhouse contains this warmth. The temperature difference between the inside and outside of the greenhouse could be anywhere between 5 to 7 degrees Celsius. Our ancestors utilized hanji with its excellent temperature and humidity controlling properties efficiently in various rooms and areas through the house. They used it to cover doors and to paper walls, controlling the temperature and humidity in the house during the peak of the summer and winter months.
The Hanji, in essence, had the ability to breathe on its own and carried with it an ability to control the environment. Recently, it has become a trend to use Hanji to decorate the interior of apartments. What qualities of Hanji are modern day people attracted to? Sunlight, wind, earth, and the paper mulberry. Hanji is paper that has wrapped science around nature. This is why Hanji has been able to have a strong and magical connection with people and is truly people friendly.